What we're going to move on now is creme brulee. Very simple, easy. First of all, we're going to have our, our double cream and the pan heat up. Our milk and then into the milk, we're going to place two vanilla pods and the seeds. Okay, so let's go down the centre. Scrape the seeds out, put them all in the pan with the pod and same with the other one. Make sure we get them all in, get them in there. I'm going to warm up, get them to infuse. While waiting for them to infuse, we're going to get our eggs and 75 grams of the sugar in a bowl. And we're just going to mix these up, get them nice and white, nice and fluffy. You should see the mixture start to change shape. Yeah, if we want a nice light colour, so the creme really ends up with the right colour. You see it's getting a lot lighter already, that's almost there. Of course you could use electric whisk if you wish, but it's not taking long, it doesn't take long to do this. That's that, that there's done there. Just going to give the milk another few minutes. We're just going to put cloth down because we're going to whisk the bowl. We're going to whisk the milk and the cream mixture into the eggs and sugar. Okay, so all we're going to do now is pour a little bit to start with. Mix it around, don't start mixing it straight away, the eggs will start to scramble and you end up with scrambled egg in your pan. Okay, once that's in, I'll start to add the rest. Okay, and that is all in. Okay, what we're going to do with that now is we're going to put it through a sieve, get rid of any of the vanilla pods and the vanilla seeds. All we want to flavour, we don't want the pods of the colour. Okay, mixture's all done. What we're going to do now is put it through a fine sieve, like we say, to get rid of all the vanilla pods. And this is the last thing you want is little black bits going through your creme brulee. Okay, that's that. Then next we we'll do is we get a, a roasting tin. We'll put our ramekins. In there, and then we'll just pour the mixture between the four ramekins. Just split the mixture even between the four of them. That's it. And then all we simply do is we put some boiling water into the roasting pan. Yeah, we call this is called a bain marie. And what this does actually stops the outsides from cooking before the centre is cooked. So all we're going to do is put these in the oven. And whether do that, there's some in here that are ready. Check these ones out just now. Okay, and that's the ramekins. Just lift these ones out. Be careful because they will be hot. Okay, then all we do with them, quite simply, Yeah, 
is the remaining sugar we just sprinkle on top evenly over the creme brulee and this is going to give us a crust. Different ways we can actually do the our topping, our sugar topping. If you have a grill that's on very high, uh, nice and hot, you can use that or else you can use a chef's blowtorch. Okay, we've got one here. And all we do, don't want it too close or else you have to start to burn the sugar before it starts to melt and caramelize. Okay, obviously if you're using the torch, just be careful you don't burn yourself. Uh, any children that are trying it, get, get your mums and dads uh, to do this, make sure you're safe. Last thing we want to do is burning, burning the house down. Then, as soon as you've finished, we'll turn it off. What I do is give them a couple of minutes to cool down a bit, uh, and then we can have a look and see the finished product. Okay, now we're just going to do the tester of it and make sure it is nice and crisp on the top, which it is. And then, if we dig in, you see it's not fully set and it's nice and creamy. Okay, that's what you want. Obviously, you can flavour it, you can do strawberries, raspberries, a bit of alcohol in it, and tie it up to you, depending on your individual choice. Okay, thank you.